Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, we are going to learn about Python editor. So far, we have seen Python introduction, installation and Python interactive mode using a Python command prompt which is a REPL. And today we are going to see how we can install PyCharm. So let's get started. Open any browser. So in my case, I am opening Chrome and search for PyCharm. And this is a website from jetbrains.com. And from this page, we can see download PyCharm. Go to this download page, and you can see it has for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So we are on to Windows, and we have a professional version and we have a community version. Professional version is a paid version, and you have a trial version for 30 days. You can avail it and as we are going to see for the free and built on open source so which is a community version i'm going to download this version now the python exe file is downloaded let's install this pycharm So it, it asks for administrator rights. So click on yes. And this is a, the first interface that we see, which is a setup process. So click on next. And it will ask for the destination folder where it has to install. So I'm leaving as it is and click on next. And here you can see create a desktop shortcut and update uh, context menu and you have a create associations and update the path variables. So this will happen once you restart it. But initially we need to select this. Later it will update once we restart our laptop and we start again this PyCharm. It will update those path in the path variables. So click on next and click on install. right it has done installation and uh, you can see the two options one is to reboot and one we can do manually later so i will do this reboot later so i will click on finish so now installation is done so we need to launch this pycharm so start go to start and type pycharm and select the PyCharm Community Edition. So initially it will ask for uh, do not import settings option. So if we have any uh, initial directories, so installation directories and all these things like configuration. So those information if you have handy then you can point them. So I'm keeping as it is do not import settings click on OK. So now the welcome page of PyCharm will ask you to create a new project or open a project which is already there in your system or you can uh, take the project from the version controls like uh, SVN or Git. So right now I am going to create a new project here and the left pan you can see the customize button we have. So default colors we have the themes so you can see IntelliJ light theme, Windows 10 light and then we have a high contrast and we have some plugins and learn about PyCharm so right now we'll create a project click on new project and here is the project name that we need to provide so this is the location where our project gets stored so which is in the user folder and in the last we will ask you for the project directory folder so I will say this as test demo project one right and you can see the next option is python interpreter 
for the new virtual env environment so new environment using so virtual vn so this will point uh, to this virtual vnv and after that we have the location so location of our the actual project and the vnv location so as soon as we create our project this vnv folder will be created and added to our project and here you can see the base interpreter so while creating the project we need to set the interpreter to python so if it is not listed here you can see in the drop down uh, you can check this options any of these two options so i am referring to the users folders apps data local programs program python and you can directly point to the c pythons also so which is an older version so right now i am using the latest version which is a 3.10 and if it is not listed here then you can have this three dots here some more actions then you can go to that python and you can point it and you have this inherit global site properties and make available for all projects you can select this option so that it will not it will not ask you every time so right now i'm leaving as this and you have this create a main dot pi so which is a welcome script so it will be created by default you can keep uh, this as checked or you can uncheck and you can create later so i will create its project right so we landed on the main.py which is a uh, welcome script so we have then the left section let me maximize this in the left side you can see this is the projects so under that we have created a test demo project and we can refactor this later also and we have a virtual vnv so virtual environment is created here you can expand and refer to this library scripts and git ignore files and we have a main file so which we have checked during our during our project creation right and there are some libraries and some other console stuff so right now we are into project and right click onto the project and go to the new and you can add a file or you can directly add a python file so if you are adding a python file no need to specify the file extension so right now i am giving a demo so let keep this as as it is so demo python file so now it is created so first and foremost we will try to print something uh, to verify our uh, this tool installation is successfully done and python interpreter is up and running and we are able to execute the program so i will say this as hello welcome So this is a simple line i wanted to run so to run this we have this run button here you can see here run main so this is referring to the main let me change it to okay let's do like this uh in this editor in the uh, python file where we we are in so after right clicking so we need to save that file so once you save that and right click you can see here run demo so we can run this using or we have a shortcut to create or run this so control shift f10 so right now i am using this run button you can see here in the console you can refer hello welcome and this is referring to my project location and it is printed here and if you wanted to run this entire pi uh, demo.py in a console then you can right click so whatever uh, we see right in the command prompt uh, where we have actually run our uh, previous session if you uh, refer to that session which is in python interactive python command line where we have run a uh, simple queries there so similarly we can execute line uh, like this so we can see the output as well you can see here so python console so welcome hello and it is a ripple of three uh, arrows here it is referring so we can continue and keep on typing this so we can add like this in my name block it here. five less three so we can keep on uh, uh, editing this as i told this python is interactive so you can see the previous results also so like what we discussed in the previous session so similar things we can do in the python console in the pycharm itself so we have successfully installed our pycharm and it is running up and running 
and in the next session we will start a one by one topic related to the python so i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries or errors during installation do comment in the comment section thank you for watching